Hello everybody and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. This is the upcoming map from Mappers Paradise and actually it is going to be submitted to the mod contest. So hopefully it's going to do very well. Anyway, like I say, it's by Mappers Paradise, by Bernie SCS. A really big thank you to them for giving it to me at this early stage to do a Let's Play on and of course test it at the same time. So it is in Ireland, it's actually in Bally, it's situated at Ballymoon Castle. So I'm really hoping this is going to be one fantastic map and one fantastic let's play. I've never ever looked around it at all. This is the only place I've been to with the exception of the spawn point when you first start. So this is the store. It's actually situated just to the far eastern side of the map. Um, and you may be thinking, wait, you've got loads of machinery already. Well, it's actually very nicely done. This machinery is not drivable. We don't own it. This is owned by the shop here. It just adds a lot of detail and interest to the area, so nice to see. What we do own is these two trailers here and this Lizard Road Rage car. Now, I want to just, before you have a tour of the map, I want to really touch on these two trailers in particular. The reason for this is Brian from CD Models has once again produced two very, very well-made mods. And these are going to be released very soon on PC and console on the Mod Hub, so stay tuned to there so you can download them. Of course I will put a download link below once it is available. Um, I don't know when exactly it's going to be available but I, I believe it's not too long so yeah keep looking out. Anyway these are Smith trailers from uh, Ireland so very local. Fieldmaster we have two. Now the difference between the two is one is a tipping trailer the other one is a silage trailer. Obviously you can tell because of the silage boards at the top. So yeah the attention to detail as usual is immense. It always is with uh, Brian, does such a good job and hopefully you've been downloading his previous mods. If you haven't, most of them are actually available on ModHub so it's definitely worth checking them out. You should definitely download them. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, jump into the trailer. Now in FS17 you can actually go inside the trailers like this. In previous versions you'd actually be able to walk over this hollow area and you'd still be floating so it's really weird. Um, but that isn't really anything in particular for this mod, that is just an observation. So that is the tipping trailer, and this is the silage trailer, obviously much taller, because you're going to be carrying much bulkier but lighter material. So you need to get lots in there. Nice colour green, nice mud flaps, basically just nice trailers. I mean, there's only so much you can say about a trailer. I can say it's nice as much as I want, but honestly, it is very well made and should give them a go. We're going to be keeping them in this Let's Play, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping that Brian doesn't have an issue with me doing that, so if we use these within this series, that would be great, because I can't wait to use them properly. Obviously, with them being sat here, we can't really see them in action. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, moving away from the trailers, we're now going to jump into the Lizard Road Rage. I'm not quite sure why it is called the, the Road Rage, but it is. So we're going to have a bit of a tour of the map. In fact, that's all we're going to be doing today. So. This is going to be as new to me as it is to you. You may have been staying tuned to the FSUK forum posts. If you have, fantastic. If you haven't, then this is going to be your opportunity to really see what this map has got to offer. And I hope I am going to be surprised too. So does this gate open or do we have to actually go up to it? You would have thought we'd have to go up to it. It kind of looks automatic, but no, we have to open the gates. Off we go. We'll close them again behind us. So we'll just try and not block the road completely. Okay, so to close, yeah, you just uh, left click again. Now, this is the tricky part. Where do we go? Ah, it looks like there is only one real way to go from here. You can see on the minimap, every place is marked. So you never have to be confused about where to go to. And I like that the writing is not actually covering the map, because that can be quite annoying sometimes. It can really obscure the view. That's actually really well done, the way the cars go around the roundabout. It's also uh, a dual lane as well, around the roundabout, instead of just having one, which seems to be quite a common thing in Farming Simulator. So, I'll close down the map, and I'll have to br keep bringing it open every now and then, but what we really need to be concentrating on here 
is the surroundings. We need to take in as much as we can do. See what's in there? What could it be? Hmm, I think actually it's somebody's house, so we better not just break into their garden. Hmm, we can be a bit too nosy, I think. So, we'll leave them to it in there. Many fields, this is probably a good opportunity just to stop and see which fields we do own. Uh, we have a, a, also roughly 2.2 million pounds. We've already spent some on this car and also the two trailers, so we have obviously lost some. But we do also start off with some machinery, so some of that may be sold. We'll have to just wait and see. Field 18 is our field. Um, is that our only field? It looks like it may be. So it's a good job we do start off with a fair amount of money. Otherwise it could be quite a challenge. But it's nice to see that there is a challenge being set for us there. This is going to take me a while to learn. Clearly this map has been well thought out. Um, the layout and everything. Biogas plant is to the right. So just in here. Is that an automatic gate? Now we have to open it ourselves. So that's great. We, we have to really stay on our toes here. We can't just keep waiting for the map to do stuff for us. So this is the biogas plant just here. You can see the silage pits are located just to the left of us. Many areas there. So yeah, fantastic. I won't keep bothering with the gates when we leave. I'll come and do this later. In fact, it may reset when we close the game down and restart. Some maps do that, but we're going to have to wait and see. So up here is the main farm and also the pig farm. I'm guessing it is the same farm, but we'll have to obviously uh, find out. And some more signposts there. Two places we've already been to. So let me just open the mini-map again. Yes, I think we'll go straight on, first of all. Uh, which goes down to the animal market and also some other fields as well. So that's the Ballymoon Livestock Market where we can sell and also buy our livestock. So I've just driven around to this side of the livestock market and I've just found this little icon here. It says Market Loader. Use the mouse and watch outside. Okay. So what happens? Does a spaceship land, or does a tractor come flying through the yard on fire? Or is it something even more special? Let's wait and see. Oh, the shutter doors are opening. Now that is clever. So this must be how they load the livestock into your trailer. They're obviously all held in here. They get herded in. And your trailer should be situated just here when you're buying your livestock. So that is really well done. And I don't know if that's dynamic up there or if it just stays as it is, but either way, very well detailed. Let's put that away again. Yeah, so no flaming tractors, we just had um, something even more special. There isn't really anything special about a flaming tractor anyway. That's just me being weird. So yes, what do we have over here? What is this being called? The Seed Production Yard. Interesting. So if you put in there, obviously I've never done this before, but put in here wheat, rapeseed, sunflowers, soybeans, or barley, we can produce seed. So I'm guessing it's like a, a seed dressing plant. And in here we've got manure and liquid manure. And that produces fertilizer. Yeah, so out is fertilizer. Oh, sorry, save game. And out here is seed. Really nice. I mean, we don't have to just uh, rely on these placeable seed refill points we can actually create seed out of our own grain which is just such a well it money saving it's gonna be cheaper for us and also it really diversifies the game as well it's very nice to see on this map so pleased I came here first I think this is gonna be one of the highlights of the map so, uh, yes, we can't pick up any fertilizer just yet anyway. We've only got our road rage here, so let us move on. Let's move on to, I think it's going to be the pig farm, which could also be the main farm. I'm not 100% sure. I have to keep checking the map. Uh, oh, we can actually do a loop, which gets us back to the farm anyway. Let's go up here. Loads of fields, as you can see. Turning left doesn't get you anywhere, but turning right 
goes back around for number six and five, and it should end up at like a T junction where the pig farm is and the main farm. So yes, they are two different yards. That is some place. What is this place here? I am not too sure. Is it ours? Liquid manure sale. So you can sell your manure and fertilizer. Manure and liquid manure. That is, again, something that we haven't been able to do before. Now this may be implemented in other maps, I'm not too sure, but the fact that we've got all these different things on here is just going to really diversify the game. And it means we can do many more things, different things, in our Let's Plays. Ooh, it's a nice hedge. They have kept that nicely trimmed. I think we are approaching the, is it a village or a town? Not too sure. But yes, we are in that kind of area. We have another sign here. Pig farm left, sawmill right, and also main farm right. And there is the, is that the Crone Elmsland trailer? I think it is. I remember using that from FS15. So, the pig sheds are just here. Feeding. Loading pigs. That's where we load them into. So you can see we've already got the ramp here. We'd have to worry about the pigs escaping everywhere when we bring the trailer in. And just over here, feeding water and offloading straw. And that's obviously where the manure is. It's nice that everything is labelled. Some things sometimes aren't clear. This is where you load the pig food and offload. Well, you offload sugar beet and potatoes into here and it looks like you can turn it into pig food. And that must be the slurry refill point. Can we go in here? We can. Must be empty. We don't own any animals just yet, but we are going to be transferring all the data from Drummard Farm. So, except for the money, everything is going to be brought over. It's a really in-depth yard. Many things to look at. Saw bench. A swing. Let's have a swing. It's a solid object, so we can't do that. Lawn mower and everything here. It's like our personal workshop with a bicycle. That'd be quite fun, actually, cycling around the map on a bike. Every door opens. What about this door here? Even this one opens. Fantastic. Very slowly. Yeah, we're really having a good nosy about here. Just so nicely done. Water bikes. Ah, so that is the water refill point. I must remember. I am terrible at remembering where the water refill point is. So it's very local to the pig farm. Well, it's in the pig farm. We'd have to go driving miles for the water. Anyway, with that, another thing done. Let's move on again. This is really good. Excited to see the rest of it now. Sawmill left, and I think main farm is up here too. Yeah, main farm. So here we are. I think it's going to be hard to decide where to take my screenshot for the thumbnail. You will have already seen it, but I'm, at the moment I haven't taken it, so I don't know where to do the best shot from. So this is what we start off with, and actually it's really generous. We get a lot of stuff. There is a, a nice red theme as well. Red trailers, red slurry spreaders, red tractors, windrowers, everything. Shame the Joskin water tanker is not red. Fuel refill point, silage pits, a mower. Um, slurry, I think. Liquid manure. Yep. A gold nugget. I wonder how it works then. I wonder how the gold nugget's going to work. Is it collect one and collect them all, or is it going to be a hundred? Let's see. You had found a gold nugget. So yes, you have to collect a hundred by the look of it. We won't know where they are until we collect ten. So I'm very conscious that this is going to take me a long time to look at the rest of the map, but I really want to do a thorough search of everything. So this is your storage for many many different things including grass by the look of it. Loads of stuff. And there is another storage point. Ah, is this the main workshop? Again, very nice that we've got a workshop. We'd have to buy a workshop. How do you get in? There we go. So the roller shutter door goes up. Fully kitted out as usual with a hedge trimmer. Lathe, many workbenches, 
everything you could possibly want when working on an agricultural machine. I'm guessing this goes up to. Yep. So storage for machinery which is work in progress if you're repairing or restoring something. And don't miss anything. Do not miss anything. Delivery of cows, pick up cows, just there. So that's your loading bay. And again, we have got you offload your grass and your chaff just there to produce. So I think it must be fermented silage, I can only assume. So that must be similar to a silage pit. But my idea is you don't clamp it. I'm guessing that is correct. If it's not, then please do correct me. Um, right, so what is this? Forage mix station. Grass and straw. So in here, you put grass, silage and straw to produce forage. Another very handy machine to have. I just love all these different pieces of equipment which we've got on this map. I think you can see why it's being submitted to the mod contest. It's clearly well made. Feeding of water and feeding to the cows. Offloading of straw. Right. And what's this? Water buying point for the cows. Oh, what's in there? I just keep seeing so many different buildings and I want to keep going in them all. What's in here? It's empty. All the suspense for nothing. But it would still be great for storing stuff. Maybe a mower or compact tractor. Who knows? Oh, did I go in the main building? We have to look in the main building. How'd you get in? There we go. So yes, this is where obviously you have your cows. When you buy your cows, I'm guessing when you've brought them to here, they will all stay in a, a stall. So... Yeah, looking forward to it. Anyway, we must continue. We have to escape from the yard and try and explore some other areas of the map. I know where we came from because of our tire marks. Right, the sawmill. That is the next place of interest. So, don't want to miss it. You can see the fields, loads of fields, many different crops. Every field seems to have a crop in it. So if you wanted to buy a field, uh, more likely than not, you would actually have something to harvest. Quite a long road, actually. This is why we've got the Lizard Road Rage, so we can get about places fairly quickly. I'm going to be keeping the car. I think it will be very useful. Even though I think some people don't like it, but I'm not really sure why. It seems to be good enough. Is this the sawmill? It is. Oh, what's going on down there? Burst water main? Something serious. Right, I'm gonna have to get out and open the gate. Here we are in our very fancy car. So again, I think it is just gonna be a simple place where you bring your wood to and most likely your wood chips as well this will tell us. That is the sell point for wood. Um, wood chips must be somewhere. I think I've probably already driven past it. Is it here? It is! The sell point for wood chips. So there you go. Ballymoon Sawmill. Very nice. They've even got their own forelift. Is there anything in the shed over there? I'm intrigued to go and find out. Ah, so it's actually the processing plant where they cut all the wood up, turn it into timber, turn it into posts and stuff, possibly gates as well. And there is a saw bench just there. So, yep, that is again another very nice place to visit. If you want a day out on this map, come to the sawmill. You're always welcome. Well, they've got some big machinery back here. I suppose it's for moving all of the really large posts. Um, we've got all the the cut pieces here. That fort lift must be quite powerful. Very old though. Another big uh, wheel loader there. A bulldozer. Right. And that must be their house. I'm guessing the owner lives in the house here. I haven't yet found the field which we do own. 
field 18. We're quite a distance from that now, so we're going to have to come back to that later. Very intrigued to see the water burst, or whatever it is, pipe burst. Oh, it looks like they've got a bit of a job on their hands there. It, it's caused a bit of a mess as well. Right, we'll leave it to them. We will drive away and explore a different part. Ooh, what's up here? So if uh, my guesses are correct, I would say this is the forest. Where we can do a bit of forestry. Very bumpy. We may have to bring some smaller equipment to here when, when doing the forestry. But either way, very pretty and well laid out. The signpost may tell us something. I'll just dear about. Right, so joining the main road again. Very busy road. Crikey. Oh, now there's a car coming from the right. Right, go. Now, where is the next place to go to? The grain mill. It's just up here. Sorry, I really should be out of the uh, car, because then you can see things better. This is one of our cell points. And it's obviously not designed to put a car over, especially a sports car. Ballymoon Grain Company. So it's just a very quick visit. Another forest here. Yeah, I think basically, if you look on the minimap, you can see some lighter splodges. They must all be trees. So there's actually a lot, a lot of forestry about. Let's move on. No doubt there's going to be more traffic. The indicator is red. How strange. So we've got corn or maize growing. Uh, many trees. Caravans about. Many posh looking houses too. Got a signpost here. Uh, what does it say? By Moon Castle. The castle itself. There it is. Shall we go and have a walk over there? Let's park up. Looking forward to this. Go over the stile. You can see many other people have walked up here because it's all worn out. All the grass has gone. This is really good. This I'm not just saying this either. I think this is going to be... Well, I'm not going to say it's the best Irish map I've ever played on because that's an insult to other people, but it is... I'm not going to say my favourite, actually. But it is uh, certainly one of them. So, here is the castle. The place this map is actually based around. The landscape around it is surrounding this. So, uh, yeah, the castle is the highlight. We still haven't visited the sheep farm and the transport. I haven't been there, so I don't know what that's about, but we're going to have to find out very quickly because we are running out of time. I've just noticed this thing can do 101 miles per hour. That would be scary, even in Farming Simulator. Must be easy to flip. Now, yeah, just going back to the uh, topic of download links and stuff. Obviously not yet. Um, you're going to have to wait. It's obviously going to be released because all the mod contest mods are always released. But it's completely out of my hands. I don't know when it's going to be released. Um, but yeah, just obviously keep in mind that one day he'll be here. What's this chat doing? What's he looking at? That actually looks really realistic. His walking stick. Oh, thanks a bunch. Can you believe it? The car from the other side crashed into me, this one crashed into me, and it has boxed me in. What will this gentleman be thinking? Ah, I've crashed into the gentleman. This has not gone to plan. Okay, with that done and out of the way, we have only delimbed somebody, but it's fine, it's fine, they have forgiven us. They, they stuck it back on with some glue. So we can just focus on the rest of the map now. What is this place? What is it? Ah, it's the transport place. I'm not quite sure what it's about. Um, I'm very intrigued to see. So you can sell your wool here. And you can also use the ATM machine here. Get a bit of cash out. And also, what else can you do? Sale. There is a sale on. But, other oh, there is a gold nugget here. We can start collecting. 
We've got two now. Yes, I'm not, I think it is just basically like a... What's the word? Not, not quite a DIY yard. Hardware store kind of thing, but... I don't know. It's more like an industrial plant, I suppose. An industrial estate. Just where many businesses are located. Can you go in here? You can. And it's empty. They're waiting for our wool. And hopefully there's going to be a lot of it. The reason for this is, well mainly, we have about 150 sheep. So there should be a fair bit. And then I think the only place we haven't visited yet is the sheep farm which is where most of our money will be coming from. But having seen this map now, and I've seen it, I really do want to use, to get some more cows and pigs. So it's actually really lucky I didn't sell all the pigs. I'm going to have to get some cows back again, though. That is a tight turn. Wow. Basically a hairpin bend. So many more fields up here. It's the place we've just been to. I have no idea where I'm going to. Hello. Just crash into your fence. I'm sorry. But yeah, where? It looks like the sheep farm is actually located right at the end of this very long road. We can get some speed up. Yep, that feels fairly scary. 93 miles per hour. Here is the sheep farm. I won't be driving so stupidly in the main let's play. Just because we need to get about very quickly. So that is the offloading point for the sheep. Or sheeps. <laughs> Love it. Um... And, yeah, I'm guessing you load up again very close to there. So the pallet spawn point is just here, undercover. Or partially undercover. Um, that's not open. You can't open it, but there are people in here. Shearing sheep. Oh, there is the loading point. All I had to do was look around a bit further. But, yeah, that is, once again, a very nice place to visit. Um... Hmm, storage I guess, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but there is a lot of seed and stuff in here. Nobody in the office. But yes, that is the uh, overview of the sheep farm. Seems very busy here. We only have fields 28, 27, 30, and 32 and 31 to look at now, until we're back at the starting point. So, while I'm doing this, I think the best thing for you to do is comment down below, let me know what machinery you think we should buy, because I haven't actually bought anything yet. Um, then I can try and sort it out between now and the next episode. Also, uh, if you sort of let me know roughly how many of each animal you think we should get, obviously they're going to breed, so we can't sort of stop them, but how many do you think we should buy? Obviously, I think the sheep, we're fine, we don't have to buy any more sheep. And possibly the pigs are fine as well. We've got roughly 60. But we have no cows. We did sell all the cows, which turns out to be a mistake. So I guess my main question here is, how many cows shall we buy? Obviously, I haven't covered everything. It's impossible really to do in one episode. But I have touched on the most important things. During the Let's Play, we'll be covering everything. So... There are roads and little tracks which go off between all the different fields, which we will discover eventually. Um, but, yes, I think to do that all in one episode is... I think it actually would make the whole series a bit more boring. The reason for this is mainly we don't want to see everything all in one go. We want to explore stuff later. And the farm dealer is back down here, which is where we started off. So I think what we're going to do is conclude... Uh, oh, one more thing. The fields. We don't own many fields at all. So if you recommend some fields to me, then at, the, at least then I won't sort of be criticised for buying a certain field. Like if I start off with buying field 24 or something, some people may say, oh, why did you buy field 24? That's a silly field to buy because it's huge. You could have bought a, a few smaller fields. So I think the best thing to do is if you all sort of decide amongst yourselves if that's going to work, um, as to which fields we buy, first of all, that'd be great. But my guess is they're going to be fairly expensive, so we may only be able to get one or two fields. We'll have to work towards them all. Um, but yes, there we go. That is the map tour of Ballymoon by Mappers Paradise. Can't wait to do episode number two. 
Um, well, at least it wasn't really episode one. It was more like episode zero. But I think really for it to flow, we're going to have to make it episode one. But there we go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you again very soon. And also a big thank you to Brian from CD Models for providing the trailers at this early stage.